day one of quarantine. is reading this. I'm going to get straight to the point. I have the disease. The death disease. I don't know how long I will be around for, but what I do know is that I will be gone and everyone I knew before this will still be around. Most likely for eternity. I think I'm going to be sent away to be one of the earth dwellers. I just wish there was a cure. Day 2 of quarantine. I wish he was still around. Maybe the dream catcher will help. It has become my lucky charm. Maybe this is a dream and Dustin isn't really gone forever. Day 7 of quarantine. I barely ever get any visitors. When I do, they're always doctors researching the disease's progression. They think my cells will only start decaying once I reach a certain age, because teenagers are not as susceptible to what is known as the aging process. I was told that I should start watching videos that the earth dwellers create to make each other laugh. I find it kind of adorable that all they want to do is make each other happy. I guess I'll be one of them soon. I'm a part of the first contact team. Uh, day 15 of quarantine. I... I have... I've been missing everyone more than ever today. All I did today was sit on my bed and stare at the wall. I don't even know how I'm capable of writing this journal entry today. It's not like I can do anything other than that in this horrible place. I just have to sit and wait for my painful ending. Day 56 of quarantine. I'm beginning to learn a lot about the Earth Dwellers. I learned only a bit in school before they took me and Dustin away. They're an interesting race. They have the same qualities as the rest of us living on our own planets because we're the same species. The Earth Dwellers are just the product of the people we quarantined during the first death outbreak. I guess they chose not to pass down the stories from their home planet. Or perhaps the stories were eventually lost in time. I don't want to do that. Day 70 of quarantine. Every now and then I feel myself slipping. Slipping into memories that I feel I should no longer care for. But I do. My family is probably out living a great life without me while I sit here with boredom as my only companion, allowing me to slip too easily into my own thoughts. I'm not sure how long I will be here for. For now, I have only been told that during my journey, I will be accompanied by only 50 people because most others have already died from organ failure or cancer like Dustin. I wish he was going with me so he could experience a little more in life. Day 100 of quarantine. The pain is never ending. We've been training for the first contact mission for months now. If I'm not training with the others who have the death disease, then I'm sitting in my hospital room staring at the ceiling. I feel kind of helpless in this situation. I can't do anything to help myself except rereading the book on the first quarantine. Day 150 of quarantine. I haven't made many entries during my time here in the hospital, but I'm sure I will write lots more when we make first contact. My head is full of a mixture of emotions right now. I'm excited for a new life, but I'm terrified about leaving behind everything I've ever known. I know my family didn't care for visiting me as soon as I got quarantined with Dustin because of their fear of contracting the disease too. I won't miss them. I wish I could let myself miss them. Maybe everything will hit me when I get there because there will no longer be a chance to turn back. 
not that I ever had that choice. Very little is known about the first contact mission. The officials working on the important project lost contact with the spacecraft within only a few hours of the launch. There are some theories that the government let them die in effort to completely eradicate the death disease because the Earth dwellers are well known to be slowly killing themselves off and they did not want the first contacts to give them information on how to live longer. Some think that one of the patients hijacked the spacecraft and turned it back around to hide on one of our planets that got lost on the way. This journal by Tesha, whose last name is unknown, helps us know more about the conditions the patients were subjected to. Any questions? Uh, yeah. What evidence is there that, that she actually died in the spacecraft? 